Um, yo, I want to read something to you, right? Adidas made an announcement. Um, I think it was yesterday. They're in serious financial trouble. I see you, boy. They're saying, yo, they're set to lose. Hold on. And I, and I want to get this right. They're expected to lose something like $1.3 billion in sales in 2023. And the company says it's because they're unable to sell off their, their Yeezy inventory. And ever since they dropped them, sales have been plummeted. What you think the head of Zex at, at Adidas is saying right now? Are Three they strikes. like, no, we made the biggest mistake of our life? Well, well, Sean Prez, three stripes, three words. The Kanye effect. You know, Adidas, I got a love for Adidas because I've, I've, I've never had a pair of Nikes or Jordans in my life and I've been wearing them for 44 years straight. Oh, 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 hold on. You never, ever, ever owned a pair of J's or a pair of Nikes, never. period? No, I've been wearing Adidas for 44 years straight. If you go back mm -hmm. and look at my old... RSO 1987, when we, when we took a picture, I had a whole D to sweat suit on and some Pat Ewans. Um, Boston had a thing for Adidas and I was heavy in the gang culture and all we wore was Adidas and I've, and I've stuck it through my whole life. A couple of times I went and bought some Nikes and they just didn't fail right and I ended up giving them away. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna do it because you know I, I seen some shit that I really liked. Um, when Yeezy came, when Yeezy was at Nike's, I was mad because I couldn't get Yeezy. When he came to Adidas, it was one of the greatest moments of my life. <laughs> I, I could rock with him. But yeah, 44 years straight. Um, another unfortunate situation in, in the culture was the whole thing with Kanye. But um, Kanye's a creator. One of the probably, we'll go down the history of one of the greatest creators of our time. Creator, music, fashion a creator, um, top it both. Very hard to do, to be at the top, top. Very hard to be at the top of the fashion thing. Top of the hip hop is one thing, producer and rapper, but very difficult to be at the top of the fashion thing. That, you know, that industry is held down by Italians and French and this man from Chicago, from the shy, shout out to all my people in the shy, at the top of the chain of fashion when he came. So, you know, he's, he's, he's made great strides. And it's personal to me because now it's like, you know, I, I love Adidas and I love the Yeezys. Um, I just wish, I'm in my wishing mode now, Prez. <laughs> I wish Kanye just would have kept his, his statements to himself. Everybody- You wanna know what's crazy? Um because he really put the company in a bad position. Um, we live in a world, this is cancel culture. Everybody is woke. Everybody's socially conscious. I, 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 don't, I almost don't know if I was a head exec at, at Adidas, what I would have did. Because on one hand, they had to know stock was going to plummet. They had to know so many people came over to that brand and they didn't necessarily even support the brand. They supported the Yeezy brand. Right. But if we stuck with them, we run the risk of being canceled. That's a German co uh, company. St started, started, started by two brothers, Adi and Das. There you go. And then one of them broke off, I think, and did was it Reebok? One of them broke off and did something. I don't know. Did, did I think it's stuff. Reebok or Puma. Yeah, yeah. I think it was Puma. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know, I just wish he would have kept the state. See, you know, all of us have certain, and I know about this. We all have certain things that, you know, opinions of people and opinions of cultures and races. If they're going to be negative opinions, it's just best in business to keep it to yourself. I'm sure the you know, the CEO of Louis Vuitton, the CEO of Gucci, and CEO of all these great designer houses have opinions on cultures. <laughs> you 
You're not gonna hear him talk about it in public. You know, I just see what people gotta realize. It's like, who, who said this, Prez? You know, you know, I have a certain set of skills, you know. And who said that in the movie? What's my man's name, That's man? your man, Liam Neeson. Um, what, what's, it, right. what's the name of uh, Taken? So people gotta realize, every God's given us a certain set of skills. Kanye's skill is to create, not to talk and be a politician. You know, you need, a, you need, there's a, to be a politician, you know, it's, it's not as easy as people think. To be, to be, um, to be like a, a, a revolutionist is not as easy as people think. You have to be cognizant of everything you said and who you're gonna, you know, who you're gonna insult. Uh, you know, he, he, you, you can't be as big as he is and, and say blanket statements like that about cultures, and especially the culture that runs fashion, for the most yep. part, sales of it in, in America, runs the music industry, runs the movie industry, runs the media. Same people that put you in position to be worth all this money, not have it, not saying he wasn't gonna get it because he was on his way. But you cannot, and if you was a politician, then you know you couldn't say things like that. You know, you cannot disrespect a culture of people. You understand that this culture of people, no matter what anybody says about them, friends, these ghettos that we were in, they were in first. Okay, that's why a ghetto was a Jewish term. They were there Yo, first. I didn't even know that. What? Yeah, they were there first. The ghetto was a Jewish, that they, they was there first. Remember, you know, the Italians, the Irish, they all came over here and they started making waves and jobs and everything. You know, the ghettos were the ones that were the niggas back then. And the way they climbed out of it was support each other. We're gonna support each other. We're not gonna buy with nobody else. We're not gonna, we're gonna support each other. We're gonna do this with each other. And financially, that's what they did, and they sacrificed. You know that 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 them them people wasn't worried about wearing Louis Vuitton; they was worried about buying it. You know what I'm saying? So in order to do that, you know that they, they didn't always have the Benzes and the jewelry, and the, they worried about selling it to us. You know, yeah, yeah. rarely you're gonna see a Jewish man, right? You know, and they're heavy in the diamond um business, heavy Jewish people, but you're not gonna see them rocking big. <laughs> Diamond chains, and they don't even wear shit. It's a culture that got on their feet by unifying and dealing with each other financially and getting into industries that they knew later on would be major profit. This just didn't happen overnight. This is years and years of sacrifice of them going through the bullshit. And they just pulled them a sacrifice, pulled their money, bought a land, bought this, and everything that they got and owned, we kind of supplement. And you know, that's okay. You can't get mad at somebody for that. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we should learn from it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at in our, in, in, in our communities. Our communities, just a few industries we're talking, cleaning, nails, restaurant. Uh, we, we give billions of dollars to industries that we could just be doing ourselves and selling to, and, doing, and building us up. But we don't do that. So we can't get mad at somebody else because they did it. Surely, Kanye, if you're in fashion and if you're in music, then, then you're gonna deal with Jews until you die. That's just, that's, it's their industry. So- Yeah, I mean, um, he put himself and he put that company in a very difficult position. And uh, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I did this would be all right though. They've made so much money and, you know, even if they sign chapter, I mean, listen, I don't know, you know what I mean? I can't speak for the for, for the Adidas Corporation. Like again, it's personal with me. Cause you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, again, 44 years straight. I know the motherfuckers only sent me two pairs of sneakers with all the millions of dollars that, I, that I've done with them. So, you know, when I see other artists get de deals with Adidas, I'd be shaking my head like, damn. You know, the whole Boston, the whole city of Boston, you know, is, is Adidas style. You know what I'm saying? Like the new, the younger generation is, is, is changing that, but you know, the old heads, 
we still throw threes up. When you ever, all I do is throw threes. When you see me throwing up a three, it's, it really is because it's right. If you look at my old change, the three, you know what I'm saying? I've been a Adidas yep. guy. I got shit tatted on me and everything. So, you know, it's a little personal with me, man. I wish it, you know, I, hey, listen, Kanye still is worth a lot of money and still a great creator. So he's going to be all right. I hope he's learned from this. I really have. I hope he's learned. I had to learn. I had to learn that. Whatever, everything that's on my mind, I just can't put out, you know what I'm saying? And, and I've took losses from it. So I understand, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm sure, I'm sure his messages in his mind are meant to help the masses, but sometimes if they come out wrong, then it could, it could do the opposite. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.